Who is Dr. Dave Minita Gordon? For generations past, this was the resounding question in many corners when she passed away on January 1. What it subsequently brought to the forefront was the weaknesses in the social studies or history curriculum currently taught in schools. For generations of young persons to have to ask who this woman of great stature was is not only an eye-opener, but also a possible trigger for education officials to see the weight of teaching, the history of Belize, and of persons who shaped the development of Belize. Senator Elena Smith, president of the Belize National Teachers Union, BNTU, agreed that there is a dire need to impart the stories of Belize's pioneers and heroes. When we look within what are the topics that, that we should be teaching um, at certain levels, we would see that some of the things that, that for example, we used to teach in our younger years at school, those topics are not included in the current curriculum um, for some of these classes. And so they may start higher up. And so, you know, we always say, well, it's important that you teach, you know, about the 10th and about the 21st and about the flag and about, you know, these, these other things. But how much time is spent doing that and how much of that do we do? So if it is that our students will really get a true, meaningful education in terms of, of our history as a country, then we have to ensure that we incorporate those things more into the curriculum and we spend, we give it more time. You can't just breeze over those kinds of subjects. You know, you have to take time to do those things. And sometimes that is why we talk about there's no civic pride, you know, there, there's not this patriotism. It can't be if we don't take the time to teach our people about the country and how to love and how to show love for your country. So um, from our end, I believe, you know, we do agree that, that there has to be more emphasis on those types of, of, of topics and subjects in the classroom so that our students can be more aware. While the not knowing by the younger generations as to who Dr. Deminita was is not to be blamed for the disrespect of Belizean children, there were instances where the former Governor General of Belize was ridiculed on the street. Stanley Lezama, a close family friend of Dr. Deminita, recalled two instances where he had to save her from the savagery of children. One time I, I, was, I went to buy along, along with my wife at Beaudis and she got sick in the Albiodes and the guys, they started to laugh out of her and pass all kind of remarks. And I tell them, you know who is that woman? Nobody don't know who is she. Another time, I live on 2nd Street, kind of 2nd Street and BMN. Some kids were stoning her. And I, and I get out. I take off my belt and I lash them. And one of them tell me they're going to make your uncle come out of me. When the uncle come to my gate, and when the uncle hear what they done to her, he went home and lashed them. But she was a loving woman and careful, but I think the, the government, I, I blame the government, the two party. Because I think when I get to those, when you have those posts, supposed to be take care right through to the pass away. And I hope they uh, and I hope they learn from that. Senator Smith noted that it is in the best interest of Belizean children and the country for teachers to go in depth in the teaching of Belize's past and present. This in the future would certainly diminish the question as to who our heroes and pathfinders were in Belize. The government has a part to play as well. Because if these persons served in these capacities, then there, there has to be on your part something that you should be doing or should have been doing to ensure that, that, that this person you know, is known. I'm not saying that, that the person is going to be you know, maybe in this place forever, but at least when that person leaves, there, at some point in time during your celebrations, during your history time, during September celebrations, you, know, you can highlight these things so that the younger generation who didn't know who she was or didn't know her, but at least get a chance to know something of the lady and, and at least, you know, even know her name and what her post was and what she did. We, we don't do a good job of that, and I think we need to improve in that area. Dr. Deminita Gordon was Belize's first governor general from 1981 to 1993. She returned to Belize in 1980 as Belize's first trained psychologist. She was a passionate member of the Girl Guides from 1946 and once held the position of District Commissioner of the Girl Guides. 
She became Justice of the Peace in 1974 and received life membership of the British Red Cross in 1975. She was the first woman in the Commonwealth realm to assume the position of Governor General. Reporting for Love News, I am Alicia Valentine.